I decided to document reducing my sertraline dose in case other people wanted to, but were worried about the side effects. After a month in lockdown, I started to worry about prescriptions running out. This was when everyone started panic buying. So I started thinking the worst and I didn't want to go cold turkey. Also, social anxiety sufferers know that we keep having to force ourselves to do general sociable things in order to stay calm and not to hide away. So now that I have the perfect excuse to hide away, I started worrying that when society goes back to normal, certainly it won't work for me anymore. Plus I'm on the highest dose, so at least if I manage to lower the dose these coming months, I'll have the option to up the dose again when things go back to normal. After having been on sertraline for three years, I'd gradually gained weight and hoped quitting would help to get me back to my normal weight. I was a bit scared after reading about other people's withdrawal symptoms, but week one went well, with no noticeable side effects. I decided to take another 25 milligrams off in week two, and this is when I noticed a few small changes. At week three, I felt confident enough to go down to 100 milligrams, half of my original dose. So this is when I started to experience some of my old anxiety symptoms pre sertraline For example, when making general conversation with the till lady in the supermarket, I started to get all hot and sweaty and red-faced, and more self-conscious. I thought I was going to have a panic attack, but I managed to shake off the feeling and rationalise my behaviour from learned habits over the last three years, being more calm whilst on sertraline. Also, cognitive behaviour therapy I had in the first year helped too. At week four, I was down to 50 milligrams, and this was my worst week yet. I get indigestion, but now it was full-on GERD, and I was vomiting sometimes from the acid reflux. I experienced a few what I can only describe as mild hallucinations, and I was feeling more emotional, had some tearful angry outbursts, and was feeling a little paranoid, and generally a bit down. I had all these symptoms before I started taking sertraline, apart from the GERD, so I thought my old problems returning may stay or get worse. However, I noticed it was a full moon and my period was due at this time, which always heightens my emotions. The last week, my well-being calmed down a bit and I started to feel okay. I'd completed my reduction from 200 milligrams to zero in six weeks. There was a bit more disturbed sleep with nightmares, which passed after about a month. And now six months on, I've managed to keep my social anxiety under control but we are still experiencing lockdowns at the moment, so life's a lot easier for me, as I'm living in my own little bubble. I've still got GERD, and I haven't lost any weight. But personally for me, reducing sertraline over a period of six weeks wasn't that bad at all. I didn't experience any brain zaps, thankfully. But I do know what they feel like, as I had a few whilst on sertraline for some reason, and it jolted me awake at night. It was a very strange experience, and I'm thankful I didn't get these when I quit. So to conclude, I would definitely take Searchline again if I felt I needed it, and I do miss the way it stunted my emotions. So let's see how I go after lockdown. Thanks for listening, and I hope this helps someone.